depending on how long you've been following me in this channel, you might have noticed I've got a fascination with electric things. Uh, it started with uh, trying to, like this is nine years ago or so, get uh, the air conditioner in my um, caravan to work off an of AGM battery back then. Then it went into like uh, scooters, uh, electric boats, and uh, the downside is a lot of these little activities end in smoke. But this is the latest one. I've been um, looking at Marketplace for some time and I said, if ever like a tri hull boat comes up cheap, like $650 cheap, I'm gonna grab it because I wanna make like a solar electric boat. Um, but before we go and invest any more time and effort into this thing, we've got to see if it floats. So I'm going to hand over to Steve and he can um, be cameraman while I give you a tour of Thunderbolt. Well, you don't need a life jacket yet. Oh yeah, I do mate. <laughs> Absolutely. Alright, we'll do a tour. You can just be cameraman. Righto. It's recording. Alright, so we have here a 4.67 metre, or they're calling it a 15 metre, uh, Pride tri hull boat, fiberglass. Um, it's been repainted, except it, I don't think it was painted with a brush or a roller. I think someone just tipped a bucket of paint on it, and um, this is how it's turned out. Like, it's got a couple little dings in it here and there. Um, the transom seems solid enough. There's a little bit of rust, a few extra holes for speed. Um, but what we're going to do is, well, the only motor I own is this 1.2 kilowatt, uh, I think it's three or four horsepower, uh, pass an electric motor. So um, we, well, I've got a little adapter bracket so it actually sits under the water line and I don't know, we'll just see how it goes. It might not go at all. Uh, Daryl at work reckons that the tide's going to take me faster but we'll see what happens. Um, it's pretty high tech though so we've got steering. Let me show you that. Um, so we've hook, hooked that up. Look at that. So that's like an advanced do, system with... Um, do it again? Do it again? I don't think it moved. Oh. <laughs> I think it's stuffed up somewhere. All right. Oh no, oh no, it's moving. Well, that even goes the right way. Oh no. So what happens when you have to accelerate, mate? Oh, you've got to walk to the back <laughs> and just like do that. <laughs> we'll work yeah. on that later. All right, I um, accelerate, you steer. Advanced sort of cable tie system keeping that together. Uh, we've got a few extra batteries. Uh, well, don't look too close. <laughs> so there is maybe a few cable ties in this boat. How like, many horsepower? I think it's Three, three horsepower? Three, four, something like that. Yeah. Three batteries, three horsepower. Oh. <laughs> if, yes, no, well, that's like nine. Oh, okay. Um, so there are cable ties holding the anchor in, holding this together, and a few other bits around the boat. Um, oh, I'll show you the bilge pump. Check this out. So um, this, pump? Actually, this <laughs> actually doubles as like a deck wash. This is advanced. Oh, look at this. So, you might need this. And it's lithium powered. So wherever the most water is in the boat, you'd like drop that in and you turn it on and it like you can shower, <laughs> deck wash, bilge, whatever you need to do. So I think we're pretty set up for success here. We got bungs? Yep, I think. Oh, we've got bungs, yeah, yeah. Hang, um, on. Hang on. No, don't look at that. No, that bungs, you're missing a bolt, Dave. That's uh, that's to let the water out. That's... Oh, I'm definitely taking my life jacket. <laughs> I think we should put that's it in the water actually, next time. Yeah. It is leaving water from the outside. <laughs> well, it's, I guess it's doing its job then, it's yeah, a bung. Yeah, that means we're going to get water in. <laughs> nah. She'll be right. All right, I think we should put it in the drink and see what happens. <laughs> what could like, go wrong? Hey Dave, I was a little bit concerned about the um, floor. Like, you didn't explain. Oh, well I had... I said, don't buy this boat because it looks like there's 20 mil wood <laughs> on the floor. You know the reason they do that? because it's all soft underneath, mate. <laughs> Red makes, makes it go faster. Did I hear that you put your tackle box at the back of the boat here and it nearly fell through? <laughs> nah. <laughs> no. I don't no. think we have to worry about fire. Um, <laughs> fire bucket. <laughs> so it didn't come with chairs, so we put in a captain chair. <laughs> so it matches the vintage. This is my grandfather's chair. So he's asked me to come fishing, but I had to bring my own chair. <laughs> Couldn't work it out. <laughs> That's the first mate's chair. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I really want to get this in the water and see if... Oh. Like this movie's or video is going to go for more you know than three what minutes. I said in the car, I said, you know when you're a kid and your parents couldn't afford to buy you a toy boat? <laughs> so you went to the bin and you went and got that polystyrene piece out and you bolted a little motor to it and batteries on top of it. And you, this is the adult version. <laughs> but you know what? I, I can see that Dave's going to update this boat one day. Oh, and the I'll... next one's probably going to look like this. <laughs> like this, this boat's probably his next one. <laughs> <laughs> 
I like it. Yeah, uh, I know you would. That might be the upgrade You're definitely for sure. different. All right, let's get the sonar. All right. This dude, he must be so jealous. All right. We're freeing on our own now. Oh, <laughs> boat's gonna float away. It's time to launch. All right, we're cruising. I'm doing eight k's an hour in this thing, and it's loving it. Um, can you slow down? I'm a little bit scared. <laughs> I don't want to throw you. Oh, hang on, I'm gonna go. <laughs> we're using. Hang on. We're using 1260 watts. She's cranking, but we're boating, mate. This is my first like actual boat that I don't have to blow up. <laughs> hey, left hand down. It actually works. It steers. Oh, I better stay in the channel. I hope they're um, good cable ties. <laughs> At this speed. Sorry right. about the wind. Oh, look at that. Who needs to spend any more than 650 bucks? They're doing exactly what he done, and he's out of pocket. <laughs> If I have to slow down soon, you've got to stop recording and go down the back and change his throttle. <laughs> I think he's got to overtake us. We're safe. I reckon I deserve to set a seat up now. All right, yeah. First mate chair can be assembled. i tell you what. I'm surprised on how fast this thing's moving. I didn't expect to move out of the boat ramp, to be honest. So, fooled. Proven wrong. Three horsepower. He's actually pushing this thing along nicely. I'll let him go in front. Look yeah, at this big kid sitting on his deck chair. Oh, <laughs> seriously. Q Gilligan's Island music. Captain's log. Uh, we're doing about uh, seven, seven and a half k's an hour, sitting on a thousand watts, and we've probably been going for 20, maybe even 30 minutes, and we're on 71% battery. A vessel. It's holding true. What? Right. Down on the port side, because I will use the uh, uh, oceanic language now, we were starting to see some water come, but I think that was actually not coming through the floor. It was coming from uh, when I gurneyed the boat out, and it was just at the back of the boat, and now we're motoring along and it's starting to creep forward. But we're going to keep an eye on it, um, because this boat has got some um, a little bit of dodginess to it, so let's hope we get back to, back to port. You see if that's growing or not. We're cruising. Captain's log. Uh, we left um, at Garden Island boat ramp, and um, we're almost at St Kilda boat ramp actually. And we're gonna—it's going so well, we might even go a bit further. But um, let's have a look. What's that? Uh, let me check. Um, all right, we are at 29%. All right. We're still doing 7.4 k's an hour and 800 watts. Has it logged the code? We've got 27 minutes to go. Has it logged the code or something? <laughs> well, we've still got two more batteries left too. Yeah, but is it the motor that's stuffing up or is it the battery that's flat? No, it's just the battery. Look hang on, hang on, hang on. Shh. Sea rescue, sea rescue, <laughs> sea rescue. <laughs> oh my God. So that's, uh, where is, that's St Kilda over there. We're left at Garden Island. I don't know if you can see that. Um, and we're thinking, oh, there's some shallow stuff coming up over there. We're thinking we'd go out to the channel. That's the St Kilda channel and actually do a lap and go around Garden Island. And I'll show you on the sounder. That's where we are. So that black line sort of going up towards uh, two o'clock, that's uh, <laughs> the channel for St Kilda. Um, so I think we're doing all right. You know what, Dave just told me to stand at the front of the boat because he wants his boat to look bigger in the video. <laughs> just gotta put, and I said put on point 0.5 as well. Yeah. Wow, look how big this boat is. I'm well, so far massive. away from you. Um, so that's the power station over there. Um, we've got um, the channel over there where all the big boats come in. We might go over there in a minute. Heaps of bird life. St Kilda is just behind us. That's the St Kilda channel going out that way. So it's taken us, I reckon close to an hour to get here and we're on we've just like finished our first well 
battery's on 21%, but because it slows down, I'm gonna do a swap over. Hey Dave, just beware, it's a little bit further out than the uh, inflatable boat one. Yeah, I'm a little bit nervous be about that. Don't drop it. <laughs> you gotta go like, out right onto the sun deck here. Ugh, just lay down on the sun deck. See that? So my theory of this is one day, and I swear it's like man's theory of time, like just to have perpetual energy. And so with the sun going, I want to put like a, a solar array over this boat, which will be about a thousand watts. Efficiency wise, that'll drop down to 750. We're running at a thousand watts today, getting seven, seven and a half Ks an hour. If I do this and set it up, I can keep using this motor these batteries, plug in the solar, and you know, during the day I could go from 10 to three with just using the sun. Because this, this bit right now is a little bit dubious. <laughs> Especially when you find tech screws. <laughs> all right, all right. At least you got the fire extinguisher next to you, mate. Oh, that wasn't too hard, actually. That was all right. Did you do it again? I missed it. Oh, right, we'll just, just don't drop the new one. <laughs> They're supposed to float. Yeah, let's, not, let's not test that though. Well, that wasn't too hard. Yeah. I think it might be easier. I had to lean over a little bit. But... As long as you don't um, pull through your fiberglass, you'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> We're on. Done. Okay, on. Did you charge that one? Uh, 100%. Yep. Yeah, That's backwards, great. hang on. Done. We're off and running, let's go. Let's go around Garden Island. People from Adelaide would know that as the power station. And this motor um, was charged all off my solar array from home. Um, so, <laughs> nah, he's gone. Man, I wish I had electric motor. It ended up being one of those days where we took the fishing rods. We can't even be bothered fishing. It's just been really cool to chill out and not do that much. Um, really enjoying this. I'll throw the image up of where we are on the map, but um, we just did a second battery changeover. Uh, I've got it down pat now. I can do it in probably 30 seconds uh, if I'm slow. And I don't know, we've done, I think it's about 15 kilometers today so far. Um, so this is quite viable. I know I want to do a solar array and all that sort of thing, but even without it, it's actually working really good. Do I want to go faster? Well, yes and no. Like, sure, faster is always more fun, but this is fine. We're cruising seven, eight k's an hour. Probably doing the same as like this yacht over here. Where is it? Over here, there. Um, but I've like charged these batteries from I've got an independent solar array with my, I've got a shipping container in the backyard and um, runs a thousand watts and I've charged all these batteries for nothing essentially besides pitch price. I'm cheering. This is, this is like going to change boating for people that, you know, if you want to go to a fishing spot, get a petrol engine, boot out there and do it. But if you just want to have fun for free, like I'm pretty chuffed with this. It kind of reminds me of sailing, but without worrying about wind. So for the record, when I was doing my research on YouTube about um, electric boats and how much horsepower you need uh, or watts you need to run a boat, and I've got my little inflatable, turns out this tri-hole 4.7 meter is more efficient than 
my 2.9 meter inflatable. I would have never guessed that. It turns out I'm not the first person to bring a solar electric boat through these waters. This has been charted before, but not successfully, not until now with me. Uh, this is HMAS Spark from the mid 90s. And as you can see, we are plowing right past it. He went underneath. He's over here. Right, so it turns still. out it's quite plausible to run an electric motor on a boat which is this size. I can't wait for the next part of the project where go? I'm going to do the boat up and then add a solar array and see how far I can go. It really helps if you press the subscribe and like button and it will give you um, first access to the next episode. See you next time on YouTube. Yeah, yeah.